Say goodbye to your credit card rewards. Big box retailers, led by Walmart and Target, are pushing for a bill in Congress to take away your hard-earned cash back and travel points to line their pockets. Senate Bill 1838 would enact harmful credit card routing mandates that would end credit card rewards as we know it. If you love your credit card rewards, visit handsoffmyrewards.com and tell them to oppose credit card routing legislation paid for by the Electronic Payments Coalition. This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Hello, hello. And hi, and hi, and hi. And happy new year. Happy new year. I hope this one doesn't suck as yeah. much. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't give us any surprises that yeah. we hate. Yes. Um, But I guess we're going to have to ride it out. Figure it out. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. Wait and see. We're also... Uh, Knock on some wood. W- watch something like major happen on January 2nd. This comes out January 3rd. Don't do it. Knocking on, knocking on some wood. Don't jinx us. Um, because yeah, we're recording this before the new year, but it will come out the week of the new year for y'all. That's right. Um, but thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you had some fun party times, new year vibes. Yeah. Party times, no murders, like in our new year's movie that we're yeah. going to cover for y'all. Um, by the way, we are boobays. We are the boobays. And we are your host. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Joshua. And we're here to, to talk to you about some midnight murders. Yeah. More specifically, midnight kiss. Dun, dun, dun. 2019 yes a release um by hulu original um <laughs> what ish how did hulu know that 2020 was going to be the fucking shittiest they year did. honestly whenever i at one point i was like when i realized that mm. this was 2019 mm-hmm. into 2020 and then, i was mm-hmm. like you're and they even gonna had be those thankful you're dead at one point yeah, yeah. <laughs> i was like honestly you're probably they better no off I- they had no idea <laughs> You had no clue what was coming for you mm-hmm. in that year, um, uh, unless you were in like Asia or one of the Asian countries and stuff. And then it had already, already happened to you, yeah. At this point, but even then, they were keeping things hush hush. Yeah, I mean, by the time that in January and stuff, with uh, my friend Caitlin was living in Korea, mm-hmm. and by that point, they were basically over it. Not over it, but like the like main mass hysteria and stuff, mm-hmm. and like everyone they were over the biggest surge that they yeah. had um by the time it even got to us so bum, bum, bum. directed by carter smith and uh, written by erlinger thorodson um we have a cast that is a cast um we have scott <laughs> evans who is chris evans brother who oh. played joel um with glasses wow yeah. how does it man really like being the non-attractive brother. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we have Adam Faison, Lucas Gage, Aiden Mayari, Augustus Prue, and then Chester Lockhart, which I would say is pretty much the main cast. Everyone else is just kind of in there for like two seconds. But uh, follows a group of friends who are essentially getting back together. They do this every year, kind of a tradition, and they play this game. And apparently there are some side effects of this game that is going to haunt them on this eventful night. 2019 going into 2020 mm-hmm. and we're just joining along for the ride um but yeah it was it was something all right yeah it's a uh i i don't mean not necessarily preface but it's just i mean it's a very lgbtq plus i like censured movie like yes. the, definitely the whole cast for the most part i believe mm-hmm. is um in some sort of way part of the community queer or however they um identify and um yeah there is a lot of just gay vibes yes gay vibes yeah. throughout the whole movie i mean the <clears throat> the whole like the whole even plot the of cover it. yeah alone it's uh-huh. like leather daddy with a disco ball. Uh-huh. Was that like, I guess it was kind of like, like a disco uh, ball, right? I guess like, like the New Year's Eve. I forget what they're called, but I think they're called like pup play or pup mask. Yeah. Those dog type of masks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was giving like American Horror Story. It was. But dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
the little puppy. Uh, you know, a lot of this actually could have been an Amer- season of American Horror Story. It sounds like it's very, it gives very Ryan Murphy, honestly. Yeah, it does. Uh, <laughs> uh, Storyline like, wasn't the best. Mixed um, with like the CW. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not shitting on American Horror Story, but I kind of uh, am. Um, no, I mean, if you're a fan, you already know. Most yeah. of us who watch American Horror Story, I mean, I watch seen it every year. Almost all of them. Yeah, with the expectations of like. I might hate it, but I'm going to still watch it. Yeah. Yeah. It's because those first like four seasons just so really good. like. They were really good. It just, mm, it just, you know, and then after, you know, it was really Jessica Chastain, I, I you know, w- will admit carried it for those four seasons, even though the rest of the cast were amazing as well. Not to like d- deny their, you know, star power and like what made those seasons, but. Jessica Chastain. Uh huh. Oh, she was in it. I mean, not Jessica Stan Chastain, Jessica Lange. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm besmirching her name. My bad. <laughs> I'm so like, sorry. The disrespect to the Lange dynasty. I'm I, uh, Jessica Lange. Okay, That's what I meant. Okay. You know, you know, Jessica no, Lange. I was yeah. just making sure. I was like, fuck, was she like, did they really change your face? <laughs> no, <laughs> I was she to played see. Pepper. Okay. I'm so sorry. No, no uh, not Jessica Chastain, Jessica Lange. I, I see. just have also a big. Too many a, Jessicas. I do really like Jessica Chastain, though. I think yeah, she's a I phenomenal mean, actress. She is. I really do like her a lot. We've covered so that's why. many movies with yeah, her in it. Yeah. And she's, and even the non horror movies that she's been in, like I just really like her. I don't know. What, what was she in that one where the like the fourth dimension or whatever is love? Interstellar. Interstellar. That's a good one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Until it got to the love part, and I was like, mm-hmm. there ain't no place for love in science. Yep. No love. I think that was Santa, like <laughs> flopping the door handle. For he, us, he walked off. Yeah. I don't like that. Um. But anyways, <laughs> it was we're about to get murdered by Santa in the new Guys, year. <laughs> there's a Santa recording in the office right now. They got really mad at us mm-hmm. for all of the Santa movies we've we, yeah. covered. Um. Basically, just shitting. Oh my on god! Santa. It was the last <laughs> Santa. The last Santa. The last Santa. This is the Santa uh-huh. from. Uh, That's what our Christmas horror movie will Rare be called. Rare Exports. Yeah. The last Santa. The last Santa. Aw. And Ariana Grande is going to sing the, song, the theme song. Yes. She has to. I, that would be like the Anyone only way. Other it would be a her. duet between her and Gaga. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Again, like Rain on Me, but like the last Santa. I was like, Rain on Me can uh, have a little reprise. It can. It. Yeah. yeah. But like holiday themed. Mm-hmm. Snow on me. With like. <laughs> Snow on me, literally. And you hear like little brain. That could also be uh, kind of jingle sexual. Bells, jingle bells in the back. <laughs> I hear it. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Um, but Snow. anyways, we, we me, we start the movie <laughs> and we're kind of getting a countdown, right? Of all the years. That's the funniest thing. I love it. Snow no. on me. No, no, it's funny. We're segueing. We're segueing. <laughs> uh, it starts with a countdown of basically rehashing like all these guys. They spent 2013 together, 2015 together, 2017. We see that they are clubbing. There's like basically oh, they're always clubbing for, and, the, for yeah. the years. I'm and like, poor let's Hannah. switch it up a little. What was her like scene kid 80s hair? Oh, in and one 20, of those, yeah, seventeen, yeah, yeah. I was like, "Girl, what is?" I, maybe that was twenty thirteen, but it was that would have been a little think, more fitting. I think, but if it even twenty thirteen, but even still, it was a little the outdated scene era at that point. At that point, was done by like twenty eleven. Perfect. Twenty eleven, it was done. Yeah, yeah. prime time to two to nine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Cause it even had, she had, uh, what are those, you know, like, like the little, little bra- tinsel uh-huh. yeah, that yeah. was put into your hair. Like people get those little foils or like feathers or stuff like that, mm-hmm. but it was the tinsel kind. Yeah, or yeah, the yeah. raccoon. <laughs> oh my God. The raccoon like just on the dye. bang mm-hmm. going yeah. over one eye. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. But I was very confused because it was giving very eighties with mm-hmm. the amount of teas that was happening throughout the whole hair. Maybe it was a themed party. The top. Maybe it was a themed party. Maybe, but none of them else were giving scene kid. No. Or eighties. I will say mm-hmm. I noticed the mask at the beginning. So the mask that comes into play, I noticed it at the beginning. Oh, you did? Because it looks like. What does it look like? It looks like um, I, I saw it and I was like, oh, my God, that looks like the mask from BJ Alex, which is a like well-known boy love comic. Uh-huh. <laughs> that I have read. Yeah. Super gay. Um, Fitting. Love it. Yeah, it was. Honestly, yeah. BJ Alex was definitely out by this time. Um, but let me let me find like a picture to the, see what it looked like and the, he kind of pulls it off that it's a little different but it was kind of giving those vibes DJ alex mm-hmm. a little bit and so i was like oh that kind of looks like that and so then i noticed it at the beginning and then i was like oh fuck it is that motherfucker because yeah oh, so see it's a half mask gotcha yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's what he had yeah 
Um, very uh, phantom esque, but phantoms is only half his head, anyways. Mm-hmm. Like it's like a quarter mask. Yeah, I like his. It's only this side, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It doesn't go across. It's not like the whole. It's not like a masquerade mm-hmm. mask. Because you like still that. see the side of his face. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. It only covers his uh, burnt side. Mm-hmm. From the accident. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we then cut to after seeing like basically what they do on a New Year's Eve to 2019. 2019. Mm-hmm. And we immediately get a butt. Little booty. That we'll was my next butt. note. Mm-hmm. Little booty. We it was a cute a butt. little butt. Mm-hmm. 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 We get a butt. We get a lot of butts, actually. This same butt quite a few times. But yeah. like throughout the whole movie, there's and just then butts. Just the very cusp of where a penis of, would begin. Of a Yeah, exactly. Like right it where the balls like start. As low as, you as could get it. it could get without mm-hmm. showing Showing everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, they really like they pushed it a few times. I was oh, like, yeah. oh yeah, especially when he was getting ready in those instances mm-hmm. at that moment, and like when the, he's like facing the mirror. Yes, it's like right at shots. the mirror is when yeah, I thought yeah, it was yeah. gonna happen. I was I like, thought so oh, too. there could be a penis. There wasn't. It's little, a lot of this movie kind of almost is like softcore porn. That's what I have a note in here <laughs> that I was like, this is low key porn. <laughs> yeah, for the most part, we'll leave it to the gays. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so we have um, him talking to his friend Hannah on the phone, and they're talking about how. You know, they are going to go on this trip. They always go on this trip. But he's like, nope, I'm not going to go this year because my so-and-so, I forget the name that he gave for that dude. Yeah. Or if he gave a name, well, got us tickets to go somewhere, go do something. And I just called him sugar daddy because yeah. she was like, ooh, oh, sugar, sugar daddy, daddy status mm-hmm. or something. She said, oh, your sugar daddy's being sweet or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like, okay, sugar daddy surprised him with tickets. Yep, Great. Sure did. But then he turns around and he sees a note on the floor. Casual little note in an envelope mm-hmm. that's like, like super a, suspicious. A note that you would get with like flowers those little card notes yeah, yeah the little ones square ones not like full size card but like maybe like a thank you note yeah. or uh-huh. you know kind of small palm of your hand not palm hand size yeah hand size note mm-hmm. i forget which what did it say on it meet me um, uh, it or says, remember me. never forget me yeah there we go and i was like mm, no that's suspicious Very. also it's next to a sliding door mm-hmm. we don't like glass sliding doors with like the wind kind of like blowing the curtain a little yeah. bit mm-hmm. yeah why is the door why is the door unlocked why is the curtain not pulled back? Why are you changing right in front of a completely open window? He confident, I guess. I mean, I would be too, I would be too with that cut. body. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so we have him taking a shower, right? He's getting in the shower. He's getting ready. Classic and, shower scene. Mm, classic. Very taken back to Psycho. And he's in there. And then I think that's when we get... He doesn't even, is he in the shower or is he just facing the shower about to get in? Yeah, he's in the he's shower. In it, right? He's yeah, taking yeah. a shower. Then we pan to the, or cut to the glass lighting door opening. Homeboy coming inside. Mm-hmm. You see him walking down the hallway and then he goes in. And then whenever he pulls back the shower curtain, it was the little, yeah, <laughs> the gasp. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. It was funny. And then we see him slicing his throat pretty fast. Um, yeah. Effects. Meh. It, okay. Yeah. 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 The confetti. <laughs> Whenever he was throwing confetti on him, I know I was kind of like, that's laughable. I yeah. was laughing. That was funny. I was like, oh, not the confetti. And then he starts recording him. Yeah. With like an iPhone 8. I was like, oh. Mm-hmm. And so um, th- I guess that's fitting for whatever year. No, it's 2019. 2019. Okay. Yeah. But anyways, he probably. I was just... like, I think we we're on this one. What, yeah. Whatever iPhone I have. But. 11, I think. He, uh, I have to look it up. Probably my got settings. an old one or something like that. Yeah. He just hadn't updated his phone in a while. Or it was like. A burner or like a, you know, because he didn't want to put it on his mm. real phone. And he obviously probably had two different phones. I don't know. True. I don't know. But we do have um freaking, I think his name Ryan. Ryan got his throat slashed. He's yes. recording him. He's like making all these like. <laughs> gurgle, gurgle. Th- 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 and like they're just like panning at every shot they can of his body with the blood on it. Yeah. <laughs> at the abs and everything. We got abs. We got glitter. We got blood. This is a New Year's Eve Hot movie. gay boy movie. Yep. Yay. <laughs> and then it uh, cuts from that. And then we have title card. Ca- the title card. And we have um, Cameron in a, talking on the phone at his apartment mm-hmm. uh-huh, to Joel. Um, and that's when we're, they're going over At this the point, details. I was like, is Joel, was Joel the other guy's name? But mm. I realized. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. I realized I probably thought that because she had said, are you coming to Joel's? Mm-hmm. And I was like, I know I heard the name Joel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it just stuck. And it, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. Um, and so he's talking to him and they're going over the, I guess, what's about to happen. And uh, Joel asked him to pull a tarot card or something, right? Yeah. He was like, yeah. have you pulled a card for the new year? And he was yeah. like, oh, I was actually in the middle of doing a reading. Let me go mm-hmm. see what I got. Um, and of course, he pulls death. Yeah. Because like, why would you not pull death in a scary movie? Mm-hmm. Um, even though the death card 
doesn't <laughs> literally mean death all the time. I don't know much about tarot. Mm. I just know that I've yeah. had the death card pulled on me it's, so many times. Well, what he even said too, like it's supposed to resemble like change yes, and like turning you over. know mm -hmm, something death of like a cycle. Mm -hmm, exactly, and you're going into a new stage of life, a new season. Mm -hmm. So, it it because I remember at first the first before I got tarot cards like. Before I got tarot read for me, mm -hmm. I was always like, oh my God, death. Yeah. And so, because I, I get that card a lot <laughs> and nothing ever changes in my God forsaken life. Yeah. Um. But so I was like, okay. Maybe things do change. Just maybe things that you don't notice. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the small things. I don't know. What if it's good things that die in my life? Mm. I mean, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wenzel, like, don't ever could stop going. <laughs> stop getting your tarot card read. Stop pulling <laughs> cards, Caitlin. How about that? Um, and so we have um, them talking about it, whatever. And then after that, Cameron meets Hannah at um, a little diner, bistro, cafe, whatever it is. And it felt like he really turned up the gay. Uh -huh, here. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, Josh, do you turn up the gay for me too? Mm. No. Do I have gay? Is the gay turned? Your gay's turned. Yeah. Okay, then no. <laughs> no, I was I was just joking. I think you it's, don't actually. Well, but I then think I thought, I can. does Robbie turn up the gay? He, I think, yeah, I'll say yes, because mm. it can and it cannot. Like, there are times when I feel more effeminate and then times when I feel more masculine. But then there's also surroundings. There are mm -hmm. times where I feel like in where I'm at, oh, I should probably act a little bit more manly or <laughs> macho. macho. Yeah. And that's yeah. just like a I guess defense mechanism. But like otherwise, I don't know. Who is the true me? They're all me. They're both me. They're all you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's just like anything. You have to adapt. Yeah. Um but yeah. The gay can get turned up. The gay has definitely Turn been turned up, up around. The gay. They give me alcohol and the gay is turned all the way up. That's right. Um, and so um, we have uh, Logan. Oh, they're, well, they're talking for a little bit. Um, and they're, uh, he asked about, is Ryan coming? Mm -hmm. And she's like, no, he's his sugar daddy and, and him are like, doing something. Ooh, yeah. Okay, Ryan was yep. his name. Mm -hmm. Got it. Because and that's I whenever, yeah. And that's whenever um, we have, do, 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 what's their face? Uh, Logan, Logan and, and Joel. Logan and Joel show up. And, and immediately I was like, who let Logan's hair be like this? It was so bad. So bad. It was really bad. It Maybe was giving it was Ellen to evoke. Jens. Maybe it was supposed to evoke that he's crazy. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. It was giving Boiler Ellen. Alert. It was giving Disney mm -hmm. pop star slash mm -hmm. um, that blonde one from One Direction. Nile. Nile Horan. Yes. Nile Horan. It was giving that. Ellen DeGeneres. And um, Ross Lynch from Austin and Alley. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. But like askew. It looked like a wig from the front. It did. But his actual hair from the back. It was weird. It, yeah, like a toupee. Yeah. Put just on the little top of his head. Mm -hmm. Some bangs. But honestly, maybe it was just like an artistic choice. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, because Whatever it was, I hated it. It was not cute. <laughs> I even wrote it down. I was like, why is his hair like that? Yep. Um, and so they show up. It's kind of almost, did you get like a little awkwardness between... The, right. It's, it just it's felt quite apparent. I mean, also between, I'm sorry. Between Logan and Cam. Cam. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Whenever, like, because they went to, did they go to hug? I can't remember. Yeah. 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 Like, it was an awkward kind of thing. And for re some reason, I got like, they were like, oh, do they know each other? But they're going to play like they don't know each other yeah. right now. You know? I think I was picking up more on the stuff between Joel and Cameron. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. And so then I just there. figured, like, just because of how they're kind of talking on the phone mm -hmm. and stuff. And then whenever they met and it just kind of was giving vibes, like maybe they had a little bit of a history. Mm -hmm. And so then I thought maybe Cameron was being awkward with because all of, of them that. because yeah. of that. That which makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but Logan was definitely probably being awkward because of <laughs> everything. <laughs> um, That's true. Oh yeah. I didn't. Yeah. 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 Cause obviously his the sights, hit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Were zeroed in on Cam, but uh, we do have them just kind of catching up. They're talking. We do see that, or Joel and Logan announced that they're engaged. Yeah, and um, I was like, "Fuck you," which guys. was quite a surprise because Cameron the rest was of them, giving his good news about mm -hmm. that gallery opening and yeah, all that by gallery, and then. Logan was kind of like, well, you've definitely gotten a lot better over the years and kind of stuff. And I was like, fuck you, Paul, Joel. Or Joel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joel said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry, Joel. Yeah. And then. <laughs> Where um, the fuck did I get Paul from? <laughs> Paul. <laughs> no, it was Paul. It was fucking Paul. He was a two second character. Um, then he just popped in to say that. <laughs> you, you suck. Kind of sucked at first. Um, but and then they immediately like still the spotlight with their engagement. And mm -hmm. it was like, 
it it kind of gave that it felt like Logan and them were almost meeting for the first time too. Yeah. And so I was trying to think, I was like, if this is like if one of, you know, if I just brought, one of us brought someone home and then we're for like, the first night and we're like, oh, we're engaged. Yeah. 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 I feel that home. We don't all live together. Yeah. <laughs> but, but like to like a dinner or something, yeah. <laughs> that would be strange. That By would the be way, awkward. We're engaged. That'd be weird. That'd be cause for concern. Yeah. Um, and so they continue their little dinner, chit chat, whatever it is, lunch. And then we have it ending. And then we have uh, Cameron talking to Zachary on the phone, mm-hmm. um, uh, who is his very flamboyant friend. Yes. The um, queen of the, the group. The queen of the group. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As she refers to herself as she, and she pronouns. Yeah. yeah. Um, and refers to everyone else she as she. <laughs> pronouns. Even if they seem like they represent as male. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, they were talking. Everyone else was like he. So like th- him. So yeah. 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 Um, but anyways, we have him she talking to him. She was fucking fabulous. She was. And she was uh, going to be running late. Right. Or something mm-hmm. like that. She had Saying to catch that, up with and, them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And basically like I probably will have to leave early kind mm-hmm. of thing. Mm-hmm. And um. And was kind of considering almost not going at even all. really going. And Cameron was like, please just come. Mm-hmm. And then she had a funny little one liner. She said, I feel like that's all I ever hear. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well. um, but she basically Cameron is convincing her to come. Yeah. And so. My next note is Joel's an ass. So, <laughs> yeah, because they're all in the, in the car. They're, they're in the car going over the itinerary together. Mm hmm. And um, oh, it was about the playlist. It, it was oh, yeah. the playlist. Yeah, yeah. Logan was like, oh, I made a playlist, and mm-hmm. he was like, mm, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, uh, Fuck Joel you, is dude. very like control freak. Um, a little bit psychotic, I would say. Yeah, just has um. First off, a lot of a issues. Gaslighting, manipulative motherfucker, douchebag. Second, the narcissist. Yes. Yeah. Yes. One thousand percent narcissistic, mm-hmm. and just not allowing his partner to really have any say mm-hmm. yeah and it, it already goes to show that every year and they've mentioned it like and with the itinerary like he plans everything he has to like do it his way mm-hmm. like it's on his dime you know it's it, which kind You're of kind of hanging it over their head yeah, yeah yeah it comes more from like you know he was doing that so that way like he's buying their time and essentially their friendship. their friendship and like but also on a way where like well we're gonna do it my way because it's my money you know he has all the control yeah um so that's what the vibes are but they're they're talking they're all going talking about the weekend and then hannah brings up the game that they used to play Mm -hmm. and if they're going to play it this year and then logan's like what game is that and so we have the rules get introduced to us game Mm -hmm. roll credits and we have we've got three three rules always three rules Mm. first rule being has to be one guy who's a stranger second has to be consensual because duh uh, as hannah says and then three can either let him go or keep him until sunrise. How Cinderella. Cinderella rules. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so. Um, I would love it if like you could never contact this man again. Because it didn't like. Is that a clause that should be put in the end? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like. Well, I feel like that's like, a part of. Like don't ask of, names. Don't ask anything. Just mm-hmm. like do I feel whatever like the fuck you want. I, well, and I think fun. that's what that was like the whole like until sunrise. And that's it. Like, yeah. That's, that's that's it. No more contact after that. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that would be. NSA, Fun. no strings attached. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we have Zach. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they end up getting to the place mm-hmm. um, and they're kind of all like, you know, Settling getting settled. Yeah, settled in. It's pretty normal. And then we have Zachary uh, getting there and meeting up with Cameron and they yes. start talking. Um, Zachary's like, oh, there's we do get to mention that there's no good reception out there. Um, we did learn. Oh, and we did also. Le- right. Of course, it's a horror movie. We did also learn because even immediately I was like, damn, OK, who's got money? And then it was immediately answered that Joel's family is like a family, family of, doctors. of doctors. Yeah. Because yeah. um, whenever I think whenever they pulled up Logan mm-hmm. said like oh and they were like perks of marrying into a family of doctors mm-hmm. and I was like yeah 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 Anyways, nice perks. Um, and so we Zach's have on the juice cleanse, and is, I thought because he couldn't, he we went to three different cleanse. stores to go and uh, find celery, organic celery. Have you ever at done that. like a full on juice cleanse? No, I, I don't think so. I don't feel I don't, like it's healthy. Yeah, I feel um, like you're missing something. Nutrients. Mm-hmm. I mean. Yeah. I don't know to each their own, but I did meet this one lady. Her name, she has a YouTube channel. A shout out to your YouTube channel, Terry. It is go, go, 
Go go juice cleanse. Go go Terry (laughs) juice or something like go go. It's literally this one person, one lady who came into my restaurant one time. I was like just talking to her, taking care of her. She was traveling and she like lives off the grid almost essentially and like has like this whole like farm area place. She does everything like she like grows her stuff, like makes everything that she does. And she was talking to me how like for the past like six months or eight months she had been on just like a juice cleanse sent up a juice and then like i actually found her youtube channel because i was like let me find out like you're for real and like literally like that she just is very like a healthy living like spiritual like guru type of person like very hippie very hippie um yeah just kidding that's i'll have to see if she's still posting videos how interesting and then what she couldn't provide for herself she made up for with molly's Mm mm-hmm yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, I think she was done with so it. So all you and that need was in life thing. is juice and, and molly. Uh, and I think honestly, she only ordered like some guacamole and like a crispy taco, but like literally without the meat. I even think like it was okay, just like was veggies, say, nothing but veggies. I was thinking that would have to wreck her system because I've done like a five day detox before, mm-hmm. not like a solid juice cleanse. Mm-hmm. But then I made the mistake of getting Sonic mm-hmm. <laughs> right after. Yeah, it's and heavy, like and greasy. <laughs> immediately, like got almond and a shit Ooh. everywhere yeah yeah not everywhere it happens but it was i was like oh my god it was like clockwork within like 20 minutes i was like i'm gonna shit my pants and i had to get home I so had, i can't imagine I think doing we've all eight been there. months of a juice cleanse and we've, then eating a fucking crispy taco i'm like trying to find her right I now i would die um, i hope she still has her youtube channel while you look mm-hmm. i'm gonna cover some more of this Do what? and then okay so whenever they get in Zach is saying basically like who would have thought it would be you and I the ones who are perpetually single and I was like it's always the cute ones who are single (laughs) because I've thought that about some of my acquaintances in college Mm -hmm. that are like now married I'm like how the fuck are you married before me before me (laughs) Mm -hmm. oh yeah and they always like get into a relationship really quickly and then all of a sudden they're engaged and then they're like married within it like happens very fast five more yeah. months and mm-hmm. it's like Whoa. it's like a true love story it's like mm. we love each other so much we're perfect for each other yeah yeah whatever it's, i'm just kidding it's I just because well i've got a really great partner <laughs> <laughs> and it's like i will never Andrew. have anybody <laughs> andrew's over there just like uh hello i'm uh, i'm here that's literally a perfect uh, human <laughs> Um, and so continue cover the movie um, I don't think she has a YouTube channel anymore oh, don't okay. find it in my subscription sorry I'll look uh, later and I'll R. send R. it to you mm-hmm. but so then Logan <sighs> comes in and Zach is like hello cutie and I was like he's literally not cute mm. he's mm. not cute he's, he was giving Ellen to Jens de, de yeah. and I couldn't get past it he, he had a, also some a Disney face. channel star yeah no I got those vibes I very was much like, so what Disney channel but movie? like mixed together but like equate version like yeah. walmart version yeah, unfortunately equate hill country fair uh-huh. and farm farm hillshire mm. farms and then hill country fair mm, yeah. one of those yeah mm-hmm. um and i'm sorry to the actor i'm sorry brand, though, like everybody's H-E-B beautiful i just mean like it, it, mm-hmm. wasn't giving Okay, let's just move on. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way to stop, Kayla. Just stop. <laughs> okay, so we have them talking to Logan. It's a little... Well, and this was, I think, even uh, right before that, Cam had already told him, like, the engagement news and all that stuff. And mm-hmm. Zach was just like, oh, shut up. Yeah. Uh, can you imagine, like, Joel Mary? Like, what is that? And you he know? was saying, in an, like, in another timeline or something, this would have been you two. And I was yeah. like, okay, so him and Joel did have something Mm -hmm. because at one other point i think um as they were settling in cam was watching joel and logan Mm -hmm. through the window and looked kind of jelly or like or mm, just it felt nostalgic mm -hmm, like he was mm -hmm. watching himself yeah which he does end up saying to him Mm -hmm. and um because not yeah it wasn't necessarily giving nostalgic and like a oh i miss that it was more like that used to be me uh, yeah Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. maybe i'm i'm thankful i'm not there anymore which and, he was yeah and so then after that we have everybody by the pool mm-hmm. and they're uh well not Ooh, everybody minus zach. someone had mentioned so on the before they got, got to, to the pool mm-hmm. zach had said like oh the came note with the little white invitation and everything he yeah. was like you went so above and beyond i was like oop so they all got an invitation good to know oh and they were taking pictures right yeah and he was the most extra picture taker Mm -hmm. we love it yeah and so then they end up by the pool except zach is taking a nap because he needs a speedy rest ops and was also mentioning that he wanted to go to a 
uh, p- house party later on, but everyone else was gonna wanted to go clubbing. He was so it's kind of setting up the tone like Zach might end up doing his own thing. Yeah, uh, which does come into play later, even though he doesn't. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we do have them at the pool now. We have Hannah, Logan, Paul. Oh my God, Paul! I'm just <laughs> stuck on this Paul, Joel, and um, freaking Cameron, and they're talking, and they're basically just learning more about the game, how it started. Joel invented it, and then um, all those years back in 2013, and then also, essentially, we get to learn that like literally everybody has slept with each other in this friend group. Yeah, like it's a, and then, <laughs> every and which way that they can cross it. That was why they created the game, so it wasn't as incestuous. Yeah, so they um, could actually kiss other people than actually, themselves. Yeah, yeah. Um, Nobody's brother or sister here. Yeah. Yeah. And then also uh, the way that Logan, Logan was giving very, I was not liking him with how openly he was shaming Cam for using Grindr. Oh yeah. And being like, oh no. I would never get on one of those apps. Yeah. Yeah. Get on an app and meet someone. And I was like, well, usually people who say that literally have been on the app. They just, yeah, they just had no luck. They're just, or not even that. I think because there is a stigma sometimes, like they just try to feel or think that they're better. And so oh, it's, it's just like, like when people are closeted and then they or that. Go yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes well, remember he even was, macho. he was closeted. Yeah. Remember that's true, he when was. he, we find mm-hmm. out later. Um, but so he's a new gay. He's finding it all out. He's also psychotic. So we find that out a little bit a little later. But I mean, for the most part, everything gives pretty normal at this point. Yeah. It yeah, does. Yeah. It um, was just like, if anything, moment, the whole like, time I thought it was Joel. I did too. I yeah, thought it was Joel. Time, Literally. I was like, this is Joel. And then at, at some point I clued in whenever. So it was actually whenever Cam ran into Logan with those two leather guys oh, yeah, in yeah, the yeah. hallway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At which point, because I was like, no, this is looking way too natural mm-hmm. for him right now. And then the fact that they had leather on. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't think about that at that be point. Like, ooh, maybe it's Logan. He's leather adjacent. Yeah. Yeah. Because <clears throat> mm-hmm. then whenever, of course, Joel, like they really, they really, really, really did try to corner it as Joel. Yeah. And then the moment we saw Joel's arms with and Dante, oh, I yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. Oh, nope, this is not him. Yeah, I was like, oh, now there's two killers yeah. in this film. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what what would be the point of going Spoiler through alert. showing all of in the get up and then and then have him out of it, have his arms that unless are it was Joel's. to dupe us and then because yeah. that could have been a good dupe, but then that would have just been a really dumb dupe, yeah, like whatever. a really dumb red herring. Yeah, that is still him. Yeah, at one point I was like, oh, it's Joel, and then I was like, but also I pretty sure he's a red herring yeah it's kind of it's a whodunit you know yeah. for sure it was giving it was giving scream mm-hmm. a lot there was oh, another yeah, moment the where right. i felt like oh whenever if they were texting whenever dante got there yeah because i did not trust that at first. oh that was, was like, really weird i was like mm, don't scotch i mean it ended up being really endearing but also still creepy it's still creepy like kind of far yeah kind of like makes me scared of how like you are sweet, but like this also gives like obsessive or yes. crazy or like unhinged. Yeah. Like if you don't have a home to go back to. Exactly. Say goodbye to your credit card rewards. Big box retailers, led by Walmart and Target, are pushing for a bill in Congress to take away your hard-earned cash back and travel points to line their pockets. Senate Bill 1838 would enact harmful credit card routing mandates that would end credit card rewards as we know it. If you love your credit card rewards, visit handsoffmyrewards.com and tell them to oppose credit card routing legislation paid for by the Electronic Payments Coalition. Camps out taking pics in the backyard ish somewhere. Yeah, just snooping. Going kind of around, around the house. I would too. Yeah, yeah. I actually wouldn't. Um I would. I'm maybe I'm one okay. Of those people. If it was a house I was comfortable with and I was gonna be stay, staying in it, sure. But mm-hmm. when like I pet sit and stuff, I, I never oh. snoop. Well, I mean, 
that yeah 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 no shame to people because who do. i was staying there i yeah, just yeah. don't but yeah, yeah if i was staying like if it's an airbnb or something mm-hmm. i'm opening every cabinet mm-hmm. i gotta know Let's see what's in there and that's what cam's doing he's snooping in the the office the office of sorts. which is like it's like not adjacent to the rest of the house yeah or it's like i didn't I don't realize know. that you had to go outside to, to get, get into it. it yeah yeah um until that very important moment came mm-hmm. um but of course he's going through and he finds a gun in mm-hmm. the desk and mm-hmm. so i was like oh very well that's guy. gonna come back in yeah it had like an ivory handle mm-hmm. or something like very pearl? pretty i don't know yeah something it looked like a guitar like yeah a like a mother of pearl yeah, i yeah, think yeah, it was yeah. a mother of pearl yeah, like yeah. handle mm-hmm. and um but of course we were like okay that's gonna come back in hand like mm-hmm. that's gonna come in handy later mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're gonna and uh, know it. we have him also just kind of being like, "Whoa, okay, like like a little mini freak out of like there's a gun being there, I guess." And then, um, but it's also yeah, like you said, we're gonna need it later for shadowing. And mm-hmm. he exits out of there, and he actually ends up, um, or no, we just cut to Zachary waking up. Yeah, he wakes mm-hmm. up and of course looks like beautiful while sleeping. And I just mm-hmm. like I think about that all the time. I've been watching like a lot of K dramas recently, mm-hmm. and. Every time the person's always like sleeping so like perfect and beautiful, and mm-hmm. I'm like, that's, that's not real life, not me. No, oh. I'm like sitting there like, <laughs> that's everybody, <laughs> like, Caitlin. Mouth all weird, my hair is in a weird faux hawk, mm-hmm. and uh, and mm-hmm. then I'm not sleeping I'm in a like position that looks comfortable. All over myself. Oh yeah, I drool. Yeah, it's not cute, and I'm a mouth breather at night, which I need to like start taping my mouth. No. I don't mm-hmm. think that's the correct. No, yeah, that's what you do. What? The correct mouth breathing is you tape your mouth so that way you can. What like, if you use... just suffocate and die? That's how I go <laughs> out, baby. That's <laughs> how I go out. Whoops, a side effect. That's it. Can no. you imagine explaining that? <laughs> well, he taped his mouth shut, uh, and he <laughs> so also he plugged up his nose. Oh God, he he forgot about that. He accidentally. Well, it's because I I also well. have a bit of a like you, I think I mentioned it so many times a deviated septum, so sometimes oh, like yeah. it's like it's just hard to breathe out of my nose. Oh, yeah. Even right now, like it's just, it's not even play. I don't even have boogers like in there. Perma boogies, yeah, and there's no boogers not. in there. Um, and so yeah, but we have an uh, anyways, yeah. Zach wakes up. Um, he's gonna start getting ready, you know, because it's gonna, you know, it's New Year's Eve. We gotta go out. We gotta do everything. Mm-hmm. So we end, but and he also ends up like snooping a little bit, and he goes into the mom or whoever Joel's mom, someone's yeah, I guess closet, this was a woman's closet, their parents, it's like a Joel's family parents shared house, house. yeah. yeah. And he goes in there and um, we, of course, we see Killer like walking oh, yeah. in. Mm-hmm. And so it was like, OK, Killer's already here. And, and then I was like, oh, this, this movie loves sliding glass doors. It does. Mm-hmm. All the houses have sliding glass doors. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, of course, Miss Fabulous is going to get killed off first. Yeah. And I called her Miss Fabulous. But then they call Hannah Miss Fabulous later. And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh they do. That's right. Yeah. I was like. Oh, okay. Well, well, you you foresaw that. I did. Mm-hmm. I'm a fortune teller now. Um, I loved when she put on the coat and went burr. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, <laughs> very much the queen. It was funny. Um, and so we have uh Zachary in there, uh, of course, just living their best life, trying on the clothes, and in the same for coat, we do have um the killer coming up from behind, and Zachary's kind of like, oh, what's this, like. Kind of, I guess, thinking it's one of them. Like, Again, very scream. Yeah, very scream. Yeah, like, oh, are you the killer? You yeah. here? You here to murder me? Mm-hmm. Um, and Zachary kind of plays along a bit because it does get very like you know sexual foreplay, cosplay, whatever it is, yeah. you know. Um, and then we have uh the leather daddy just grabbing him by the neck and truly choking him, and you can tell even Zachary's kind of like you're choking me a little hard, yeah. you know, like too hard, babe, too, too much. hard. Um, and then just gets <laughs> thrown into the closet. Yeah. Like, at, th- at first, I thought it was the mirror. Oh, thing. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, it's just kind of like f- thrown and then um, is kind of like, what the fuck, freaking out. And then we have He's choking him out with one hand, uh-huh. too, which was, yeah, He's I'm very sorry, strong. Logan didn't give that he was that strong. Yeah. Um, uh, but he is apparently. I guess, yeah, because all he, killers are, usually are. He it's had the, his. It's like it's the psychosis of a oh, killer. Oh yeah, you like just, when moms get that adrenaline to lift cars. I off think of it's babies. just like the adrenaline of just like the kill. Like yeah, yeah. adrenaline um, fueled strength. It's like they're always on. You know, it's either fight or flight, and like always just like one hundred percent fight. fight. Yeah, yeah. Um, to the death, and we do have unfortunately Zachary succumbing to getting choked out, but then also. This freaking leather daddy breaks a champagne bottle and just starts shoving it down his throat. Which was pretty. And okay. It was wild. Yeah. And then whenever his throat went bulging out. Yeah. yeah the effects on it bulging out. Ugh. 
it was I would that would not be a fun way to go. That'd no. be very painful. Yeah, it sounds mm-hmm. it seems like one of a mm-hmm. horrific way to go. I was expecting more blood, I will say, but maybe for like the sake of I don't know, but I, I just expected more blood like in like to be like kind of, of gurgling yeah. or like on the side. That would have been really cool. You know, I don't know something. I was expecting some more as well because I was like, yo, you know his mouth has gotta be Fucked getting up. cut mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. That, he's that just like, like forcing it down his esophagus yeah. mouth opening. Oof. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's how Zachary bites the dust. Um, and then the movie's over. Yep. That's it. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then we get Cam showering. Yep. And, and I was again, like, we see butts. we're going to kill Cam off already. Mm-hmm. And then the door closes again. I was like, okay, guess not. <laughs> nope. Um, and we do see that he has received a note. The same note. The same type of note. That yeah. says, be my midnight kiss mm-hmm. yet again. Because mm-hmm. that was what his mm-hmm. original one had said. Who's? Cam's. Oh. Oh, right. Because he got one at his house. We didn't even mention that. Whenever he I went to go pull was- the card. Cam got Cam got one at his house as well because then he puts it next it to the see de- you again or see me. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, see me now or something like that. Do you see me? Uh, I another card. Be my midnight kiss. Oh, yeah. I don't remember the first one then. Did that it show was, up first one? He got two that said be my midnight kiss. Oh, okay. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. He gotcha. okay. got two and then I think <clears throat> his third one that he gets says mm-hmm. see me. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so he's looking at the note and he's like, okay, well, that's kind of something. Okay. Whatever. It's just like, uh, yeah. And then that's whenever we do have Hannah, uh, we cut to Hannah. She's trying on clothes. She's getting ready to go out. Mm -hmm. And then we have Logan and Joel fucking. Yes. (laughs) And he's getting like weirdly demanding about the cologne. Oh yeah. Yeah. Don't wear that cologne. I think he was essentially trying to be like controlling and like, it smells too good. And I don't want anybody else to be smelling you. Yeah. Basically. Um, and so anyways, we do have the, us going back to Hannah and um, Cam talking about the whole Joel and Logan situation. So That's when he calls her Miss Fabulous. He calls her Miss Fabulous. And we do understand that, yes, Cam and Joel had a pretty, I guess, serious rem- re- relationship. Yeah. And um, it just didn't go well. They, 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 and they parted ways. And Hannah is just, you know, trying to really make sure he's OK. Everything going on because them all being together. Yeah. And, and that and, he's seeing a lot of himself and Logan at the mm-hmm, moment mm-hmm. and basically being like, oh, you know, I feel bad for him. Mm-hmm. And then at that point, I was just like, yo, why are y'all still friends with him? Yeah. Like, I don't know that. I mean, I know you were probably friends before, but that seems very toxic. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. he's. I'm sorry, Joel, even to the end, is a fucking asshole. He is. Fuck yeah. Joel. We're not Team Joel here. We are not. And uh, we do have, I have Wake Up Sleeping Beauty. Is it because they're trying to wake up Zachary, right? Yeah, they're yeah. trying to find Zach. And I put, nah, Zachy Poo's asleep forever. Mm-hmm. R.I.P. Unfortunately, he's dead. He is D E D dead. In mom's closet. Yep. Yep. And um, uh, we do, I think. Which is why they don't find him. Yeah, but they do get a text because apparently the killer obviously has the phone mm-hmm. and somehow's in a text. Um, I don't know where Logan found the time to do that, but sends a text and it's just like. And I mean, later on, we find out that he apparently carves up uh, Zach's body. Too oh, yeah, that's right. And yeah, puts yeah. 12, 13 or mm-hmm. 12. The date on his 31, chest. 13. <laughs> John three sixteen. Yes. Um, and so <laughs> we do have them getting that text and um, that's pretty much there. You come to the conclusion. Well, Zach already left. He went to go to another party, essentially. Mm-hmm. So they're not going to see Zach. So they end up going to the club. It's very club and Logan, scene. Or someone said he probably went on a walk. And sorry, it was just funny because then Cam looks back in the desert. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, he only a like, crazy person. Would he do does that. not give that he would go on a walk no. in the desert. <laughs> and we do have um, then them at the club and they're, you know, doing their thing. Uh, Joel, the they're dancing, but Joel is like trying to tell Cameron, like, you know, get off your phone, live in the moment. There's so many guys here because mm-hmm. Cam was on the dating app again. Um, and we have him going to the bar to get some drinks with Hannah. Um, not before they take. Oh, that's Molly. right. They do end up taking Molly. She was like, "Sorry, Joel. I know this wasn't on your itinerary, but Molly." Yeah, <laughs> and pulls it out. I love it. I, Hannah actually grew to be like my favorite character yeah, throughout the whole I did movie. Like her. She also she was, was giving. Um, she looked a little bit Walmart and Hathaway as well. I kind can of, see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there were a few brand. shots where she looked like Anne Hathaway. And then there's the front on ones. No, but like her side profile. Yeah. Very Anne Hathaway. Mm-hmm. And I guess that girl from Fresh. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Because I thought she also looked like Anne Hathaway. Mm, Like a mix between them two. A merger. Mm -hmm. She Um, was their baby. And uh, we have them doing Molly, so we know the night's going to just go from here. And uh, Logan, that's his name, right? Logan. Yeah, he didn't want to take it. Yeah. But then Joel forces him to take it, Mm -hmm. which is like, ew, don't force your significant other to do drugs if they're not wanting to. Yeah. Especially, I also kind of had a little problem later or some at some point. Hannah was like, don't make me drink alone. Like, I was like, oh, that's cringe. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you can, girl, you're the one choosing to drink. You just drink. Drink and, alone. And someone, yeah. That's I fine. would never, I, I would yeah, never yeah. say that. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah. Like. Yeah, to anybody. Josh, oh my God, don't make me drink alone. Yeah, that's a lot. Drink that's, your fucking water. Mm-hmm. But anyways, Good we have you. them doing all that. The Molly, <laughs> they go to the club. I mean, oh my God, we've been at the club. They go to the bar. That's what I meant to say. And um, Cameron, by the um, well, Cameron on his way to the bar bumps into that boy, Dante. Cute tank top boy. Very cute boy. That's what I called him before um, I knew his name. And it's kind of make guys, but they get to the bar and that's whenever he's talking to Hannah. And Hannah is just kind of like being, you know, uh, venting actually of how like, you know, they go to this and do this every time. They always go to gay bars and like she's just kind of tired of being a wingman. You know, she wants yeah. to actually go do something that's fun for her. It was a little bit annoying me though because I was mm-hmm. like, girl, you're the one who chose to come here. Mm-hmm. And you put yourself um, in the situation. But also, also if those are her friends though like yeah true they should do things that she like likes. they probably should go to a straight club every now and then well, sure but gay clubs are more fun a they are and then also i have made out with many a man at in, a gay club. in a gay club but i think she also meant like because she does mean it. i can kiss someone but like it won't like ah but these were people who wanted to go home with me too Ah, okay gotcha so there are because the straight guys there, there was one guy mm-hmm. um i thought he was gay he had a shirt on that said dog dad so very fitting for this yeah. movie. <laughs> but Dog Dad. Gay, uh, gay vibes. Yeah, he was. So maybe he was bi or pan. Yeah. And, um, but we were dancing and then all of a sudden he like turned me around and we were like mm-hmm. making out and then he would not leave me alone for mm-hmm. the rest of the night. Homeboy was trying to go home with me and whenever I told him like, no, um, he went home with someone else in our group <laughs> that was. A guy? No. A girl. Okay. No, a girl. Uh-huh. And I felt kind of bad for her because it was like, oh, it's, you man, know, you're like the to second choice. Own. Like you said to Hannah, she chose to do what she did. That's true. Your friend and chose then, to do what they did. Um, And then <clears throat> I've also had some of those go-go dancers pull me in before and whisper in my ear like, I'm not gay. Mm, Can mm-hmm. we meet up after this? Mm, and mm. I'm like. They're just making their money. They're mm-hmm. hustling. And so, I mean, honestly, if you're a dude and you've got a nice body, even if you're straight, to, you it. can make a lot of money dancing and you can for dance. men. You know how and I guess straight you don't men even have to dance like that to well. pay a lot of money to strippers. Well, guess what? Gay men spend probably twice as much and as money straight women on, on because men. Yeah. Then I you're like, you're like playing both fields. I'm not straight, but I'm pan. But mm-hmm. like I would go in there and I shoved so much money into yeah. little go go dancers g strings. Yep, um, love they it. love it. But mm-hmm. so I was like, girl, maybe it's you. And then whenever she made out with the go-go dancer, I was like, yay. <laughs> yeah, that was exciting. Good for her. I was, she got I was her excited midnight kiss. for her. Um, and so we have that whole thing. She kind of calls them all selfish. But then Cam sees. Um, uh, oh, yeah. And that's whenever um, Le, whatever Cameron is like, OK, I'm going to go try to find uh, someone to kiss, I guess, or whatever. They're playing their game. Yeah. So you know, he was she was calling them selfish and saying, I like, you know, y'all really just kind of only care about yourselves. And while she's saying this, of course, Cameron's not paying attention yeah, to no. her because he's locked eyes with Dante. Yeah. Uh-huh. And he's just like. I'm going to go. And it was mm-hmm. like, boy, that is the worst timing you could have had. Well, I mean, even she, she was, was well, she was also <laughs> saying too, like, I always come to these and I'm your wingmans. And like, what do I do here? It's not like, you know, I can't get as much as what y'all get. And then he, she's like, why don't you ever go to a straight bar with me? And he's like, well, what would I do there? It's like the and same it's like, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what she's trying to that's tell you. That's doing. that's what she's feeling like. But anyways, I digress. And he ends up going off. Does he dance with Dante? Because I feel like at this point he's going and then he that's when he ends of, up running into. Uh, I think he like kind of makes eyes with him for a little bit, but mm-hmm. then he's going to the bathroom. Something, right? Yeah. yeah. He goes to the bathroom, though. And this is where we see Logan. We run into with Logan with the two other two guys and they're like, kind of guys. kissing all over him. Yeah. And he's feeling the molly. Like, one was pretty low. Yeah. He was literally on his crotch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then the other one was kissing like on his neck. Mm -hmm. And then he was like saying like, hey, do you want to join us? Because, yeah, he was clearly feeling the drugs. Mm -hmm. Because he was making him fill his hand. He's like, do you feel that? Yeah. And I was like. I feel it. (laughs) He was like. 
uh. <laughs> it's cringe. Yeah. Um, and so that's whenever the cam is just like, no, it's okay. Our, it's okay. It's all right. And he ends up walking off and then he ends up immediately bumping into Joel. And Joel's like, have you seen uh, Logan? He's like, no, I haven't seen him. Nope. And like, yeah. And yes, then have, Joel but... is like, I want to show you something. Yeah. And which is like, it's just, ugh, yeah. And ends up taking them all the way back into like the back, back sex rooms, you know, or and this the, is where we get, this is where I said, the nitty gritty starts is happening. soft key porn. Oh yeah. Cause as we were going back, we saw plenty of blowjobs being given, yeah. making out hands on the crotch. Mm-hmm. I was like, Oh I yeah. Like, Damn. It's the gay bar. They got a back room and, and it like is big cities, sensual. big cities. That's how they, that's how they kind of, they can be like that sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, um, just depends on the club and, um, they, he goes down there and he's like, I'm going to show you something. And I honestly legit, I, I'm so naive. I thought he wanted to show him something, but no homeboy <laughs> takes some, I legit, no, Caitlin, <laughs> I really did think like, Oh, what is he going to show him? Like, what is he trying to show him? Like, what is this? And like, he found something and cause I thought maybe it would be like to the plot, like, a, oh, yeah. I don't know. Like murder vibes. I don't know. No, but, I didn't trust. I was like, this guy's sleazy. He's going yes, to do something to and him. And he literally went, to, took him down there so he could like make out with him and be yeah. like, you know, I went, whatever. He said, Just, it's been a while since you've been my midnight kiss, mm-hmm. which again made me think because it said, be my midnight kiss. That's right. His yeah. First that it was two him. notes. Yeah. I was like, oh. <gasps> And even Cam is like, this is weird. This is let's we shouldn't do this. You're with Logan. And he's just like, Joel is being very pushy. He won't like kind of take no for an answer. But then Cam is just like mm, and slides away from him. And it's just he like says, he says most he's he says Logan's going to realize one day that most of the things mm-hmm. he said yes to he doesn't really want. Then he will resent you. And then he's going to leave you just, just like, like I, I did. did. Mm-hmm. And then he leaves. And I was like, drop Mike. Boom. Hell yes. Yeah. Good job. And then he leaves to go dance with cute tank top boy. Oh yeah, they do. He AKA goes on the Dante. dance floor. He's this is dancing where we with learn Dante. His name. Mm-hmm. And they're having a really good time. He's like, I'll be your friend. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. he was looking for his other friends. And that's whenever um, we do have them just like, you know, vibing for a good while. They're just really dancing. Um, and Joel's watching from Joel's that watching. back room. Yep. He's seeing, he looks really mad, honestly. He looks very jealous. And so this is where, again, they're really leaning into it being Joel. Mm-hmm. Um, and we do have then it segues into Sorry. like who I thought it was a drag queen and she's starting to do like the happy new years. Let's do the yeah. countdown. I thought it was Kathy Griffin at first. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like her from yeah. afar. And then um, I saw immediately that the 2020 glasses. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. 2020. God yeah. damn. And I said, yeah, y'all are probably going to be glad you're dead. And um, we do have a countdown happening. They get their kisses. This is whenever Hannah did kiss the go-go dancer. Yeah. He kissed Dante. And then what's his face? Joel is pissed because Logan's not there and nobody's there to kiss him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that's whenever we do have, um, it isn't the uh-huh. first rule. It has to be a stranger. It has to be a stranger. Yeah. Well, I think so yeah. he was going to fail that rule anyways. Yeah. And so I think he was just so focused on Dante and Cam. Like he was jelly about mm-hmm. them doing something together that he just, yeah, he was he just, just wants off. everyone in his pocket. He does. Yeah. He and, has uh, to control everyone and everything around him. At this point, we do have them coming back to, they're still on the dance floor dancing, but this dude slips next to Dante and Cameron. And is it Dante's friend? He's Is that his friend or is it just someone in the club? Uh, I guess it was his kind friend. Of a, I don't know. They were Jason. nearby. Yeah, because the way he took care of him was just like a dead scene. I was just like, oh, he's just a really nice guy or like this yeah. is his friend. But Because like, I mean, I've had when people, yeah, Andrew you help and I, people. Yeah, yeah, we're at Joji, this one guy literally right in front of us, he locked his knees the whole time and collapsed mm. and was also I think had way too much to drink mm-hmm. but was like one of those people that didn't show it till it was too late yeah and then he locked his knees and I was standing behind him and so Andrew and I like caught this man yeah and like and then of course like six people came to help him so we were like we're probably good here you go I don't know we we're like take the man away here you go yeah, yeah. and they like carried him off the first day and we were like well <laughs> he's dead he's got all he needs he's now. dead Caitlin <laughs> he probably so, is oh no <laughs> we do uh you killed him no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, we do have um, my complacency the, killed the killer him. slipping in at this point too because yeah, Cam is there. gonna go get like some water or something for him. But we do I see the Hannah killer was walk gonna in. die because she was alone, and then I said, "Oh yeah. no, it's Cam. He's gonna die because he's alone." Mm-hmm. And then I was like, "JK, it's none of There's them." There's so many times, <laughs> yeah. And and then you really do think like it is Joel because then you don't see Joel anymore in the frame. Yeah, for exactly. anything. But Excuse of course, me. we also don't see Logan. That's true. And at that point, I was kind of thinking that as well. Yeah, and we do have Hannah and um, 
Zachary meeting back at the bar. He's kind of telling her like, hey, Hannah and Cam. oh, Hannah and Cam, my bad, telling her, hey, um, you know, uh, that dude, whatever fell, I'm going to go help him. You wait here. He ends up going to try to find Dante and his friend, but they're not there anymore. Um, he's kind of looking around for them. And then we have Hannah walking up to them and they're kind of talking about how like they had their kiss with the, you know, that guy, Dante, and then her with the go-go dancer. And then she's like, I'm hungry. And I was like, same, same. literally. I know that vibe. After midnight. Ugh. I last Hungry. year. Last year, I did not even. I made it to eleven fifty-seven. <laughs> oh, and there for New Year's. <laughs> then I fell asleep. Mm. Yeah. Oh, uh, how fun! Feel it. This year, I'm gonna try to make it to midnight. I booked a reservation, uh-huh. so I guess I have to make it to midnight. You do you have to do it? <sighs> um, and so it's I one more minute. It's just one more minute than last last year. You can do it. Yeah. And so, um, Three, we do have. Yes. <laughs> I can't count. We've learned that. We've established. And so we do have them going home. They're in the car ride home. Uh, we see Cam, Dante and Cam. They, Cam, they matched like on Grinder, I guess, or something. They like found each He's other. Like, you found me. Yeah, Dante messaged him. They're messaging. They end up getting home. And Hannah. Joel's mean mugging him through the rearview mirror. Oh, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joel's like. Because <laughs> he looks happy. Yeah. And so, of course, they get home. Uh, immediately, Joel and Zachary are fighting. No, Joel and Logan are fighting. Yeah. Because bad. of. Yeah. Because I guess, you know, Joel's obviously not happy. Logan was just like, I'm just playing the game. Like, your rules. Like, how like, you wanted it. It's your fucking game. Yeah. And uh, we have them, like. You know, cursing at each other. Meanwhile, Hannah's just like trying to get cereal She's and like, food. I'm mm, hungry. I want some snacks. I was yeah. like, <laughs> She's like, like that awkward friend, like who's like, oh my god, these people are fighting. Like, let me just, yeah. That's the way I felt like we've. <laughs> Mm-hmm. We'll talk about this later. Yeah, yeah. But um, yes, it, she was just trying to I feel get like snacks. everybody's been in this situation before yeah. where drunk people are fighting. You're just like, you're oh, just my like, God. Ee. Okay. And then um, Logan's like, do I need permission to go get in the pool yeah. or something? And it was like, okay. It's okay. awkward Look for everybody. Um, but Joel was being like, it was, his, it was his fucking game, though. Yeah. Um, He's just mad because he got shot down by Cam. Mm-hmm. And then we have Hannah going and talking to Joel, uh, just basically trying to make sure he's okay. And he's a douchebag and just basically saying like y'all are ungrateful i do this every year for y'all i try to plan this and y'all just um whatever whatever like whenever cam broke up with me which he broke up with me so i'm the victim um you know y'all took his side and you don't like, even talk to they i took love his side i love how he's You're like an asshole. you don't even talk to me anymore she's just like uh e- like she couldn't even defend it because she's like, uh. yeah, because you're kind of an asshole. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he was gaslighting her. He's like he's making yeah. them. He's feel making bad. himself be the victim. He, yeah, when and he's, he's not. holding. He's holding this last little. His money is probably the only thing he can mm-hmm. keep them Over around them. with anymore because he's been such an. Well, they're getting person. older now. You know, it's like different when you get older. Vibes are different when yeah. you're young. Like having a good time and partying and like money, like buying that for you like you over you a lot of things are oversighted because of that yeah. you know whereas like now we're like we're adults like don't treat me like shit yeah um i'm too old for this yeah, shit for real um, i ain't got time for someone who's not gonna be yeah or grow a up legit you know? friend yeah and so we do have then um zach in the pool and this whole time we're thinking which is also logan was gonna die in the pool maybe oh logan i keep calling exact i want zach to be alive so bad because i keep saying his name you know i was so sad that he got killed so quickly logan is in the pool and he um swimming around you we do get these vibes that like someone's about to like pop up and like drown him or something Mm -hmm. like it's eerie um so we're hearing like some gates creaking some mm -hmm. and he's looking around like what is that yeah he gets out he's sees that a text from Joel and it's like stop acting like a little bitch and come to bed yeah I was like okay I fuck was that like, what? I would immediately be like no um and so I couldn't tell which, if that was from Joel or mm-hmm. if he was sending that and then he said I'm gonna go for a walk yeah. and so I thought I was like okay but they were both in the same like text color mm-hmm. so I wasn't sure it's a little weird but I feel like because it said come to bed like, yeah he was so it the, was okay yeah I wasn't sure that was my immediate thought mm-hmm. that it was Joel but then I was like, what? Um, and then we have him saying, I'm going to take a walk. So he obviously he he leaves the movie for a little bit. He's mm-hmm. going to take a walk, which is perfect Convenient. for anyone who's a killer. <laughs> yeah. And so that's whenever we do have um, Cameron getting a text from Dante. Saying, I'm outside your house. Mm-hmm. And it was like, what? Really creepy. What? Um, and so he does. He goes outside and he which I, up, at this point he's looking was around the, for him. The killer. I thought it was too. And then I thought that. There's I no thought way that, that I they thought. had created a fake profile on Grindr. That's literally what I thought. And then you messaged can do that. him. Catfish. Yep. yep. And was like, oh, I saw who this guy looked like. Found some pictures real fast. 
I don't know. It had to be really fast, but yeah. It did. <laughs> but I mean, it's now at this day and age, you can find someone really fast. You can screenshot. You can, you can make a whole profile literally yeah. probably in 15 minutes. And I mean, because especially like if you just look at the tagged photos of that place, I'm mm-hmm. sure they were at a well-known, it looked like a very well-known club. Could have been there before. Yeah. And they just go to the tagged photos on Instagram and you can find someone real quick. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they posted something. It's New Year's Eve. Well, yeah. So it's, it's you'd be surprised like how much you can find out about someone through social media Mm -hmm. um and so that's whenever we do have him actually finding dante out there and then it kind of turns into a kind of a sweet cute moment because they're flirting and they're talking they're kind of getting along and his reasoning for knowing what house he was in was because he cater waiters sometimes and he's worked at that house before and i was like "Mm, okay that's fishy still i was like that's weird yeah, it's, I was like, well, I don't trust this. <laughs> yeah, a lot of red flags. But, yeah, you but know. then they're making out, and he was like, you're a Taurus, aren't you? And I was like, Josh, you're a Taurus. Uh, when he said that, I was like, LOL, yeah, I am a Taurus. And my and notes are real big there. Josh, you are a Taurus. It's like you didn't know. And he's a Taurus, and I'm a Taurus, and I was like, <laughs> And oh, I'm not God. a Pisces, though. No. So. Yeah, the, uh, Dante was a Pisces. Pisces. I don't know. Uh, I feel like I probably do, and I just don't. Want to be like someone in our close friends. Someone's a Pisces. And so that's whenever we do have. Pisces? I don't know. It's a fish, isn't it? You all, fish, yeah, but I don't know which month. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. I and think it's like a. Taurus and Pisces were a good match. And I said, I'm I feel like need that's a witchy a, bitch to check that fact check. For I feel that like for that's me. a Margie type of thing. March? April y, maybe mm, April. April is Taurus. No. Um, oh, April is Taurus. The end of it is Taurus. And the beginning of May is Taurus. And then the end of May oh. is Gemini. And the beginning of June is Gemini. Wait, yeah. my brother is a Taurus, so and he's the beginning of April. That's a ram, right? No. Taurus, a Taurus is a bull. Bull. The ram is the Aries. Aries, he's an Aries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, no, I don't think that's it. I clearly don't know. I know it's my okay. sign. I'm, I'm not a Capricorn. that I, I, Yeah. That's pretty much me. I've only learned recently <laughs> other ones, but I don't know honestly in what order they go in. Um and so, I know Aquarius yeah. comes next, which is the fisherman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I guess it's Aries. I feel that like that's be... right. I feel because Aquarius is definitely no. February. Yeah. Time. Aquarius is end of January, beginning of February. Mm-hmm. And then there must be something so that's the end of February. Okay. So then it's Aries. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe Pisces is in between. Maybe that is. Every witchy bitch is going to be so mad at us They're right now. Be like, you're getting it all wrong. Let's <laughs> stop talking about it. So that's whenever we do have, this is basically turning into soft core porn again because they're like, you know, uh, uh, humping each other and kissing and making out. And it was um, very awkward that he brought up photos then, right? And he's like, I want to photograph I want to photograph you. you. Well, they were both being weird with each other. That's true. I that would have brought that up the next morning though. Like just like I mean this dude mm. showed up at his house creepily That's I feel true. like he it was creepy all, it was all off around the table. because even it's like was that creep was that weird to ask yeah yeah um and then that's whenever we do have Joel watching them very angrily looking he yeah. looks like he's about to pit like the beat someone up his jaw was so clinched mm-hmm. I was like boy get over yourself and uh Cam is gonna go get co- condoms because um you know obviously they need a condom and okay Say I'm sorry sex. but when Dante said I already have them on I was yeah. like what yeah <laughs> and then he was like I'm JK. kidding. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, good. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, he also been needs so one. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's whenever we do have them. Um, he's inside. He runs into Hannah, or not runs. He goes looking for Hannah because he's like, oh, because he doesn't have any condoms in his room. So he tries to get some from her, and she's like, oh my god, you have someone, whatever, you bad boy. And then she gets the condoms. And um, she was so prepared. I was like, yeah lube everything she had it all um and so she he ends up going back outside but too bad he's gonna be dead because he was taking forever he went to go brush his oh that's right he wanted to freshen up and so meanwhile he's freshening up we do see that the killer is outside at one point but then we see someone else walking up to dante and uh we think at this point that it's gonna be the dude that we've been seeing in the letter that he masked but no lo and behold to our surprise bare arms bare arms they start choking out um the The sheer fabric because they were in like a gazebo I guess, yeah. Or something. It's something that had been there probably. And yeah. uh, it's choking him I mean, out. It looked very nice. And but it's fucking Joel. Yeah. You see you see that blue like polo mm-hmm. and the sleeves. Like, yeah. Here it's right mm-hmm. now. Your science is not a polo or blue. No. But <laughs> it's close enough. And and we do see that it's Joel. So we're like, oh my God, what the fuck? So Joel killed Dante. Yeah. Out and of also, anger. Jealousy. Okay, the sheer fabric uh-huh. was very beautiful. For mm-hmm. that scene. Yeah. It looked very But also not believable. Artistic. Yeah, because people wear like pantyhose on their face. 
Yeah. And then breathe no, through it. He should have been able to breathe, but I was thinking maybe, maybe it was, he crushed like the larynx was, or something. He was pulling it so tight on his throat that yeah. he just couldn't get any air in his airway. Okay. That was why that was how I explained yeah. it mm-hmm. to myself, but I was like, I don't know if he would tap out that mm-hmm. fast. And we do have Cameron coming back outside finally at some point. Uh, it's probably been twenty minutes. And uh oh, yeah, definitely. And uh homeboy is not there anymore so he's like oh wow you really like games so he tries to find him but he doesn't end up finding him he's looking throughout the house and Mm -hmm. he finally texts him and he's like yo where did you go and he hears the phone chime Mm -hmm. and so he goes and he looks into the like a shed Mm -hmm. or something sees his clothes neatly folded there which is suspicious as fuck it was yeah and uh he obviously Dante's not there. And so we do have him going, just looking through the and house. this is where I was like, it's Logan killing everyone. Mm. It's for sure Logan. See, I was still hooked on Joel. Oh, uh, um, no. Yeah, the moment I saw Joel's arms, I was like... No, can't nah. be him. Because he, we saw, we had already seen Leather Daddy in full jacket and everything yeah. and stuff. So I was like, he wouldn't take off the jacket just to go kill this motherfucker. Mm. So. No, 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 no. And so we do have him still looking for Dante. He's asking Hannah, hey, did my guy come over here? She's like, no. He ends up going to Joel and he's like, hey, did you see my friend? And Joel's like, the, like how dare you invite someone into my house like yeah. without asking me? And then Cameron's like, oh, yeah, you know, my bad. I should have thought about that. And then Joel is just like, no, I haven't fucking seen him. And then um, that's whenever we do have them talking about. Randomly brings up the, oh, I think he saw the that, note or yeah, something. And I think he's seen that um joel had gotten one as well yeah and he was like wait what like why did you make all these and he's like i didn't make those yeah and so then they're like what the fuck so then their cam goes to his bag he pulls his out and then they're trying to talking about them they're like well if you didn't make them who did and at this point i was like it's logan Mm -hmm. and i said he must have met them that on that first night and couldn't let it go yeah that's literally what i was thinking so i was like ooh. and then whenever they sent the picture of the mask i was like oh that mask was in the beginning looks Mm -hmm. almost like the bj alex mask it does i didn't mention it at the beginning because i was like well that's not important yeah but then it came back up then it came back up and i was like oh my god I and, saw that mask. <laughs> and then that's whenever we do have them talking about the black and white glitter ball because they're like remembering. They're like, wait, I know this. I've seen this where Cameron is anyways. He's because putting it all together. That I think each note had a different year on it. Yeah. yeah. Basically saying that he had followed them for each year. And then year. he like received a picture of the mask. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. On his phone or it was him or Joel. And so then that's whenever we do have them looking around and they fucking find Zach's body. Yeah. Like and- carved up carved up it had had the 12 31 13 on mm-hmm. it and and, and 2020 glasses and on. then this is when we get the one like saying like reaction in the movie and, he, and camera's just like run go yeah. go get out like we gotta go and when they couldn't find hannah at first too and i was like i was no, like oh god don't let hannah be dead well, i was pissed off and like, then i was if, like wait is she in on it too because she was kind of mm-hmm. grumpy earlier <laughs> well i was gonna get pissed right they kind of portray her as like well maybe she's getting back to them um because they were selfish like i yeah. just was a little upset if they were gonna like i was like not dare, they better not dare kill her off screen like Oh if yeah, she's at least gonna give have her a good death, death scene. Give her a good death yeah, scene. Come yeah, come on. And so we do have. I know. I was worried he was gonna walk in there and find her body like dead. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I was like, yeah. That's immediately what I thought. At least give us I'm a like, flashback. Oh god, she's not responding. She's dead. Yeah. Um. And so then we have them looking for her outside and stuff. And then that's whenever we do have um the killer showing up and almost attack. And well, he does. He starts attacking. He runs up. To Cameron. Cameron closes one sliding door, but right before he can close the other, the killer gets his arm in and he's like got a knife and he's like trying mm-hmm. to slash him. But Cameron is able to get away a little bit because he goes into like the kitchen area. And there was knives there and champagne bottles. And the why he doesn't try to fight, I don't yeah. know. And he just kind of like pushes stuff and then runs off again through the backside door. Yeah. Um, and yeah. And he it completely left Joel. Yeah. He was really like, bye, bitch. Yeah. Cause he really was about to just run away completely. Yeah. But then he stops at the end of the driveway. Because whenever he stopped there, I was like, boy, what are you doing? Yeah. You did not run far enough. Like, I can still see the house. Mm-hmm. Why are you stopping? And I was like, at this point, oh, I think he's he started going back feeling for, for his, Joel. Well, I don't even think, like, just for his, I guess. Yeah. I guess for somebody. I guess for Joel. Cause he was like, I felt oh. more, more like for Hannah. But yeah. I don't know. For both. For Jesus. For Jesus. It is the right thing to do, I guess. And so that's whenever he does end up bumping to fucking Logan. Mm-hmm. Um, and Logan's like, what? The- it's oh, already- and right before this, he had just gotten, I think, the... The picture, a text. A video of Ryan. That's dying. right. Yeah, He that's got right. that video. And uh, Logan's just a little too, like... He knows he's not... 
he's obviously been on a run, right? But he's not asking like, what happened? What is going on? Like, yeah, what, the he's way he just was like, like, it's okay, it's okay. We're going to we're gonna make that out of this. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. like, uh, fucking crazy. No. Because then it just goes running into the danger. Yeah. And then Cameron, before he can even say anything, is just like, he's like, like stop, stop, stop. Yeah. What are yeah. you doing? Yeah. <laughs> um, and so he, Cameron ends up following Logan into the mess uh, through the thick of it. And that's whenever we do have, um, what ha- he ends up finding Dante's body. Yeah, right? he finds Dante, and then I was like, oh, convenient that that fabric also makes a nice little shroud for his body, too. Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. He covered them all up. Very, covered like, r- r- Hunger Games Katniss covering up Rue with flowers. Yeah, so sad. Yeah. Um, Not as sad here. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot more emotion. It was. She was a bigger part of the story. And then we have... um. He does like run off because he does. I think he sees the killer, right? And he runs away from him or something. Something. I my next note because was, the, the oh, tires are slashed. Hannah's still alive, and the tires were slashed. Oh, I That's, didn't see Cameron that. Cameron does notice that the tires are slashed. Ah. Um, and so because he, he's hiding, and then um, that's whenever we do see yes, Hannah comes back, and she got the messages too, and she's basically saying like, "Did you guys get this message?" She finds Joel. Joel mm-hmm. has been frozen in that yeah. room the whole time after yeah. seeing Zach dead. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Um, just kind of out of it. And that's whenever we do have um her getting attacked by the fucking killer because mm-hmm. he comes in from behind. She sees Cameron. She's distracted. She's like, what's going on? And then he's like, behind you. She's like, whoa. She gets flashed on the leg. Pretty bad, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Gets yeah. Her pretty deep. And then Cam comes in and knocks him the fuck out with that. Why shovel. he doesn't keep going. I don't know. Yeah. He just hits him one time and is like, that's enough. Because that would end the movie too quickly. Yep. We need it. 25 minutes more screen time everybody knows you hit them on the back of the head hard enough you turn it sideways and just start aiming for the neck yeah mm, like mm, they did mm. in um what's that one the uh, ugly sweater party yeah where he stabbed him in the tummy with the shovel yeah right? or that mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. i feel like going for the neck is more fast because yes. you could stab someone in the tummy and maybe they still live yeah like i feel like go for the that's true yeah the, the, mm. anyways and so then we do have um uh, do, 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 do. what do we have? He comes, knocks him out. Oh, they yeah. go hide in that room, and the I restroom. was like, mm-hmm. "A, lock the door. Mm-hmm. Lock the door. Mm-hmm. That would make sense." Um, and then they're hiding right behind the door, not being particularly quiet, quiet. Uh, but trying to be. <laughs> and, and then, then uh, what's his face does open the door, the yeah. killer, but he's killer opens like the door, and then it's kind of like. And then closes it. He just like peeks in. At that no point, I feel like when I feel like he did know they were in there, and he's he just, just fucking with fucking them at this with point. Them. Yeah, yeah, which would have been fun. Yeah, and um. But then immediately after he closes the door, the whole go- being quiet thing like goes out the window. They're just loud as fuck. Yeah. She's like, oh my God, oh my God. And I was like, just because he's already checked your room doesn't mean you get to make noise now. And I guess he tries to make a tourniquet, but it's not a tourniquet. It's just like yeah. him wrapping a towel around her leg. Yeah. And not tight enough. <laughs> um, and so they're talking about essentially like what the fuck is going on, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And basically, because um, he's telling her like there's a gun in the office, he remembers. Yeah, and then she's like, "Oh my god, you can't go out there." Because he was trying to, they were trying to leave, and she was right. like, "I'm gonna slow you down, just leave me here," yeah. mm-hmm. kind of thing. And then whenever he was like, "I'm gonna go get the gun," she was like, "No, you can't go." And I was like, "Girl, you just, just told him to, him to leave, leave you yeah. behind." And now and he's like, "She's like, what if you don't make it?" And he's like, "Well, then I love you." Yeah, and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> the cheese, the cheese. We can cut it with a knife, mm-hmm. a plastic one at that. And so that's whenever we do Bell have Vita. him getting, um, you know, this courage. He runs out. He runs out of the yard. Goes to the office. Which goes and hides in the office. Realized. That he have to go outside to get to the office. And yeah. the moment he, the moment he is heading for it too, I was like, "This gun's gonna be gone." Oh this yeah, this gun is gonna be gone. Well, and then he opens it, and I was like, "And it was fucking yep. gone." <laughs> yep. And then he ends up having to hide because the killer walks in mm-hmm. and goes to this kind of duffel bag that they have so there at the corner bag. of the room. Yeah. And uh, he's just hiding. He's really like pulled in tight trying not to make a sound the killer does kind of stop for a second but ends up walking out anyways and so that's whenever um cameron ends up being able to like saw it was cameron and was like i think every time he saw them i think he was just like i want to fuck around like i don't want it to just like and then maybe like didn't want to actually kill cameron yet because he not. didn't get to tell him everything yeah. and in front of Joel too I think mm-hmm. that needed to be well I think and he case. did go I think I mean, he was getting those things to go do Tied. what he ended up to yeah, Joel up yeah because yeah. uh, he hated him <laughs> and so he, we do have um, we all do yeah we do have Cam wa- finally looking out and we see that Joel is literally like 
taped to a chair and he has these firecrackers. Oh, he, he gets alerted because firecrackers are going off on the floor. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. While Outside. he's checking the go bag and mm-hmm. he finds something, it's, he like pulls out the syringe and I was like, Ooh, said it is that's right. yeah. or something. And I was mm-hmm. like, that's good to know. Um, and that did come in later. Mm-hmm. And, um, but yeah, the firecrackers were going off outside. And then I was like, then you see Joel tied up. I thought it was dynamite. <laughs> oh, yeah. Off. I thought it was too, but it's not, it's not TNT. It's, it's not just DNT. fireworks. Yeah. It's just fireworks. He's got these fireworks in his mouth because it's, you know, New Year's Eve. And so he ends up running just in time to take it out I and throw it. I didn't even put that together. That is New Year's and that's why it's fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> And oh, because so, no one's going to question it. Yeah, that's exactly. Smart. Okay. And so he ends up taking it out, throwing it like almost I'm close dumb. to the pool. It's going off. And then we have him trying to untie Joel. But then, dun, dun, dun. There fucking the killer the walks gun. up with the fucking gun. Yeah, the beautiful gun. Yep. And you see the little pearlescent handle. Mm-hmm. And even Joel is just like, oh my God, he's got a gun. And Cameron's just kind of like, <gasps> and then literally just immediately gets shot in the shoulder. He shoots the confetti. So we got confetti oh, going in the air. He shoots that. And then he shoots confetti. him in yeah, the yeah. shoulder. Mm hmm. And I was like, oh, fun. Yeah. It's it's not looking good for Cameron at this point. And this is where he mm-hmm. was like, take off your mask, you coward. And he goes, oh, now you want to see me? And I was like, ugh. Yeah. And it <laughs> ends up being bomb, bomb, bomb. Logan. Logan. Freaking Logan this whole entire time. And uh, at that not point, I was already kind of, of like, surprise. well, there's no other people in this film. So it's got to be Logan. It's Logan. <laughs> yeah. Because they can't just throw in like a random nobody at the like last 10, 15 minutes of the movie. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, um, they're basically talking logan's explaining like you know like, all those all years ago he kissed you you kissed me i wasn't even out you were my first new year's kiss and you didn't even think of me like i didn't mean anything to you and it really hurt me and all this and that Boo so you decided to kill people and that's whenever he Cameron is just, I feel like essentially trying to like de-escalate and he's just like, you know, you know what I see? I see someone who's lonely. Yeah. I see, which I was like, don't say that. that. I see that you're in pain, all this stuff. And then that's when we have fucking Joel being like, you know what I see? Yeah. A fucking psychopathic bottom. Bottom. I was like, why did you have to bring the bottom part into it? It's because it's Joel. He's a douchebag. But yeah, he's going off and I'm like, maybe don't start calling the person who's holding the gun crazy you know to someone else's head uh-huh. right now yeah, yeah like come on and then basically uh logan saying like what did you even see in him like he's yeah. the fucking worst mm-hmm. and which was like he is he is yeah but, which is why he left him yeah exactly yeah and then he basically is like you were my first midnight kiss and now i'm gonna be your last yep blah 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 and he was like going to kiss him and stuff and like right before he could kill him though Fucking Hannah. Fucking Hannah shows up to save the fucking day. You're breaking just, a rule, bitch. And just <laughs> smashes him on the back of the head with the bottle. And she's like, it has to be consensual. And it was like, yeah, mm-hmm. for come real. On. And at that point, you have Joel being like, grab the knife. I'm like, no, how about grab the fucking gun, gun. that's on the floor? Yeah. Which but they, Joel's only worried about himself. Yeah, he is. And him getting out. But Hannah clearly wasn't really the person to do it because no, she was she, struggling so bad i was like come on Anna, jesus yes i'm like <laughs> get the tape off him and then we do have fucking um at that point um, cameron gets him with that sedative oh cameron yeah because he gets that sedative out of the pocket that we saw earlier stabs him in the eye hell yeah logan's kind of backing up a little bit he's kind of out of it joel pops up with the gun and bam Pew. bam shoots him right in the gut and like, hannah's boobies belly. looked great yeah. throughout all of this she did yeah Mm-hmm. I noticed. I, I really noticed in this scene. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "Damn, her boobs look phenomenal in that shirt." I love it. I mean, I think she had a bra on, but still, yeah, they were amazing. Yeah, and I was Good like, boobs. "People are getting killed," and I only see Hannah's boobies. It was amazing. Um, but I was like, "Well, he probably feels nothing as he's dying." And then I was like, "I swear he was a Disney Channel person." I don't know. I can show you who you think he looks like. I know okay. who you yes, think he looks do. like. Mm-hmm. Yes, please do. Yes. Um, Because I feel like it's very much someone. And so we do have um, him finally dying. (laughs) He's dead. Um, We go to the next morning. He's dead by the pool. He's still there. I'm like, nobody's nobody's called the cops. I I guess. I I don't know what's happening. Why the fuck have y'all not called the cops? Then no cell reception. I don't know. I guess, but nine one one. Like I feel like they gotta have like a landline or something. I don't know. And so that's whenever Maybe. they're just taught, like out there. We do. Oh, and also before Logan could die, he was talking to Cameron and being like, I saw what Joel did. I saw what you did. Yeah. Why don't you ask his Pisces boyfriend or why don't you ask your Pisces boyfriend or something? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And then that's whenever we do have 
Joel then confronting Cameron and he's just like, I've always loved you. I never wanted anyone else. I was just whatever, whatever, whatever. And, and I was like, like, fuck like, off, Joel. Yeah. Now is not the time to hit on him. And even Cameron's feeling that. And then Cameron's like, what do you think he meant by that? My Pisces boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And then Joel can't even like lie. He's because he's asking him like, did you kill? Did you kill Dante? Did you see Dante? And he's just like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Man. And then they just walk, he walks away from Cameron. He's just like, let me go. His little, what did you do Joel yeah there kind of made me laugh <laughs> yeah it was, it was a little dramatic it was <laughs> I know it's very theater <laughs> yeah um and then that's whenever we do have um Cameron leaving him and he goes out to the front and it's just Hannah and Cameron in the front driveway just kind of like so well posed uh-huh I was like this also looks- who put him in a sling and she's just still got a fucking like just the same wet rag wrapped around her leg. Yeah. Poor Hannah. Nobody cares about Hannah. No one Hannah. cares about Hannah. She probably did it. Probably. Yeah. And then, I mean, I guess he maybe only had one arm at that point and no one wanted to talk to Joel because he was a murderer. That's true. I guess. And everyone else is dead. And, and then she, I was sitting there like, I was like, what are they doing? And then she says, why aren't the cops here yet? And I was like, for real, girl, yeah. where are they? Yeah. Where the fuck are Literally. they? Uh, and we have him making plans with her being like whenever we get out of this whenever we get back we are going out but like i'm gonna stay with you the whole night yeah. i thought he was gonna say like to a straight club that's what i thought too but then he was like i'm gonna stay with you the whole night and i was like that, okay no. and she's like it's a date yeah and then it ends i'm like how about we don't go out anymore <laughs> yeah i let's... would not be thinking about going out after no, all that yeah. even though the the killer was in their party yeah i would just be a little like i think i'm Hesitant. the same hole forever yeah um and then as the ending photos are flashing uh-huh. logan is in almost all of them i didn't even notice like in the background stalking yeah different um versions of oh. logan so you see him in the mask you see him with like weird glasses on and like a blue button down mm-hmm. you see him in this green hoodie at one point just like Oh, that's staring creepy. at them he's yeah. in he's in the back of like almost every single photo oh wow yeah i didn't notice I, I didn't pay attention. He to was there like at every Event, 2013, 2015, 15, 2017. 2017. Yep. That's crazy. And then 2019 into 2020, he was there da, 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 da. watching them. And that's how. Always watching. And that, is, my friends, is how the lights went out in Georgia. No, I'm just kidding. That is how the, the devil went down t- to Georgia. Literally. I hope none of y'all's midnight kisses turned out to be psychopathic murderers. Nope. Hopefully um, not. I can't say I've ever had that experience. Yes, and I would love to never have that mm-hmm. experience. So let's um, hopefully our yeah. New Year didn't start off that way. Anyways, how many uh, booze would you give Midnight Kiss? One point five. Whoa, really? <laughs> <laughs> One point wow, five. Really? Explain. I it wasn't the greatest movie ever written or told. I'd say. <laughs> Um, I kind of felt mean? like this, was, this deserved every award possible, Josh. I, I also feel like they were just like, <laughs> I feel like it's perpetuating a stereotype for the most part. Yeah. Um, and being really eccentric on certain like things that people think gay people are, I guess. Mm-hmm. But it also could have just been, I mean, I love camp, so it could be just camping it up for the sake of, you know, making yeah. everything, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just like exaggerated but um it's just uh, the characters were also kind of like not or maybe it was on purpose they were written so like much that i like i was actually kind of hoping most of them died like yeah. even cameron at certain points because i was like cameron oh, you're stupid what yeah. are you doing like there were just, a few moments where i was, I was like, like you deserve to die i wasn't the only be... one that i didn't want to die was hannah yeah and that was because she felt like the most genuine like real character like i felt like this is a real person like this like I know, like, this is a friend. Like, mm-hmm. this could be a friend. You know, uh, but then everyone else, like, just was kind of just annoying. Joel was a douchebag. Logan was creepy from the get-go and weird. And yeah. just, like, also... Bad haircut. Just weird. Um, I guess Zachary was pretty cool for the most part, but just, like, there wasn't enough. Like A there, little... Th- 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 there wasn't any, like... We didn't... Zach- Zachary didn't have enough screen time. Didn't have... Yeah. Didn't but have also enough very... Time to shine. S- self-absorbed yeah 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 Yeah. so you were also like well you can die too yeah um but you didn't have any time to get emotionally attached really um but it just 1.5 i guess it didn't really like did i say 1.8 at first no i think you said five okay 1.5 a 1.8 i'll give it a 1.8 closer to a two just a little bit below a two for me yeah Mm -hmm. that's fair that's fair how many booze would you give it Mm, i was thinking probably like 2.5. 
2.5? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it was it was not the most terrible film I'd ever seen. <laughs> it was, like you said, yeah, it did feel like it portrayed a lot of, and perpetuated a lot of stereotypes, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. especially like in the moment when Hannah was like, I don't want to play into any stereotypes, but it was like. But we are. Yeah. But maybe that was also the joke of it. Yeah, maybe. That, maybe and that's I do, that feel, way, that I do was... feel like it was a little more on the campy side. Yeah. And so I feel like they really had to lean into it and be like, this is a gay film. These people are gay. Yeah. yeah. Gay, gay, gay. But I mean, like, I also. I was like, I know all of my gay friends never talk like this. Yeah. It was just a little <laughs> too much. But then, like, I feel and like. Except that's... in certain situations, which is like. <sighs> I don't know. Because it's like, I also do know gay people that do talk yeah, like that I, I mean, and I are very fl- like whatever you know you want to call it but i don't know i it just felt like every single gay person was extra gay yeah and it yeah. was like there are many spectrums of it, it feels like gay. a straight man wrote the movie <laughs> and this gay. is what like he thought gay people <laughs> yes. act like all the I time 24 7 like it there's no like a non-gay person it's like kind of how people can even say like you know roles for women like mm-hmm. roles for women are not you know uh you know not diverse but what's the word like the deep like you know there's not this very like you maybe get to be you get to be one or two archetypes but there are so many different layers to people you know so i just felt like that that was kind of like eh. but fair other than that yeah the deaths um had some really great ideas behind them Mm -hmm. weren't executed in Mm -hmm. my most favorite of ways i think they could have been a lot cooler yeah um and there were parts that were campy and not in a good way Mm mm-hmm there were and, a few points where I was like, they this had a moment to be really cool and but it's not over the top enough. Yeah. It was like again, you're not in on the joke. It's like you're trying to be too serious mm-hmm. about it and it's just like But this then at is, times it wasn't. Yeah. yeah. Um You need to be either like way off the deep end and you're just like, This is a fucking joke. Everything is a joke. My life is a joke. Or you true. need to be really good. Or it can be like slightly middle ground, but this just I felt like it's a hard line. It's a hard balance to find. You can have some comedy and like jokes mm-hmm. interwoven in, but this was one that was trying to be too serious. I think the whole time, um, and not necessarily really mm-hmm. like into. campy. Yeah. It just ended up being campy. Yeah. Um, and then we do. I I I don't know. I had a thought and then it left me. But oh yeah, what I was also for me is just like for the most of the movie. I guess up until Zachary died, I was just like. When are people gonna like? When is the murder gonna happen? Like, when I need. Mean, I kind of gonna die. Yeah, like even I was though like, we started with a murder. Yeah, I guess essentially you're right, but it kind of was already like a lot of time had passed from that, and then it was just. It, like it also a big wasn't gap. a very exciting murder. It wasn't no, and I kind of at that and point, then throwing confetti on it really made me lose appreci- appreciation for it. Is, yeah, I was like, there was no mm. that part. There was there was no seriousness to it. No, and then like the whole like with the. <gasps> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just was a little bit. I was like, okay. Yeah, hokey, I don't know. Hokey I was, pokey. I was expecting more psycho esque uh-huh. and something a little more like stab, 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 yeah. stab, brutal, mm-hmm. and not just. Uh, and then like these like beauty shots with like the blood. Yeah, this yeah. isn't. And not everything has to be. Vogue. I literally thought he was about to start voguing <laughs> yeah. as he was dying. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than that, I mean, my one point five stands. One point eight. Or my 1.8, my bad. Okay. And your one, your 2.5. 2.5, 1.8. That makes it a 2.3. A point, yeah. I don't know. It makes it a 2.3. Yeah. We'll say 2.3. 2.25 for... Uh, 2019's Midnight, Midnight Kiss. Midnight Kiss, yeah. Again, hopefully none of your Midnight Kiss has turned out like this. Nope. Um, let's see. Do you set any... I don't know. Do you set any like intentions or whatever? They're, what are those called? New Year's, New Year's resolutions. resolutions. Yeah. No. No, yeah, me neither. I don't ever. I like to like not... What? Well, um, if you keep your expectations low, you can never get disappointed. Yeah. So I set nothing for myself. And then if I do something, I go, yay, good for me. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then if I completely fail, I go, well, I knew it was going to happen. Well, what is it like? Uh, ex- expect the worst and plan for the best or something like that. I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't know. But um, yeah, no, I've never been one to make a New Year's expect resolution. Expect the best and plan for the worst. That's what it I is. Think. Yeah. yeah. Um, no. Is it? I don't know. I don't I never know. Heard it. I just always keep your expectations low and <laughs> well, you'll never be disappointed. Well, I've just never been a New Year's resolution person because I just never actually, I guess, felt like. I never stick to them. I well, used to try and then it was like, okay, this is pointless. I guess there was never nothing that I felt I needed to change or like yeah. was like or a goal or if I or do, something. It's never about like my body, but like there's been 
I'm never like, I'm going to lose weight this year. Or like give up something or like, I'm going to do that. Or yeah, I'm going to give gonna, up drinking. No, like I did gonna... say one, the one that I think I did make in like, I think it was probably 2018 going into 2019. I was like, I'm going to pay off um like so my much... credit cards okay, this year gotcha. or something. And thankfully I did because then 2020, Happens. I had to buy a car. Yeah. <laughs> and right before COVID hit yeah. because I was in. That's not an accident, but my, you know, whole yeah, yeah, wheel yeah. came off while driving. So anyways. Necessities. Yeah, fun. Once again, we are in, where are we at? The lovely Rogue Media Network Studios. They always mm-hmm. take great care of us. They do. And they edit us. And then um, if you want to listen to our podcast or any of the other podcasts on this network, you can do so at? RogueMediaNetwork.com. That's right. Or a slew of podcasting platforms, biggest two being Spotify and Apple. But wherever you do listen, don't forget to rate, review, like, and subscribe. That's right. Because that's the only way we can get ahead in this world. And then if you want to reach out to us, let us know your thoughts on this film. If you've seen it, if not, it's on Hulu. That's where I think we both watched Mm -hmm. it. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Hulu. It's also on, I think, Peacock. Yeah. Um, oh, was what it? I saw. Mm. I, I watched it on Hulu. Where yeah. to watch this movie? I always look up where yeah. to stream and whatever we're watching. It, yeah. It, Peacock was also an option. So awesome. that's free. Um, so mm-hmm. if you want to watch this for New Year's, it's a, uh, we didn't give it the highest, but you can make your own assumptions. Yeah. And if yeah. you're listening to this after this New Year's, which you are, um, oh, you can right. save watch it, it next for next year's. year. <laughs> yeah. Just or you can put it on the list. Relive New Year's night. Uh, a week it, into the new year. If yours didn't go that great, you can watch this and know that theirs went worse. Yes, that's right. Mm-hmm. Or you can have a new New Year's party on the first week of the new year. Say, mm, this week was shitty. Let's yeah. restart it. Honestly, time is a concept. So you, your new year can be at any time. Middle of the year. Yep. Do it. And then Chinese New Year happens a little bit later. And oh, does it? You can just celebrate that. Yep. Have another whole new New Year. Oh, that's right. That's fun. Yep. Don't, and they celebrate for like days, right? Yes. Yeah, it's yeah, like, like a week like, long. A week. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, there's like one main day, mm-hmm. but there's, I think it's a day buffer on either side, but people really kind of get into the spirit. It's a Hanukkah it. miracle. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, wow. But yeah. Um, we do. Uh, you can let us know though on Instagram and that mm-hmm. is at. Boo Bays podcast. And that is at B-O-O-B-A-E-S because we're your Boo Bays, not your Boo Babes. That's right. Yep. And, and uh, there, like we said, there are exciting things coming for this new year. Hopefully that we have in plan. Hopefully we're yes. getting more. That'll be our stories. new year's resolution. Yeah. Boo base. I also had messaged Jeff because I'm the uh-huh. worst at <laughs> responding to things. Same. I mean, we both. And yeah. I, I had messaged Jeff and was like, maybe my new year's resolution will be to actually get better at responding to people. Aww. And then I was, I saw, I looked through the boo base Instagram and I was like, oh no, now that was two weeks ago that I said that. Damn. I'm so sorry, Jeff. Well, <laughs> I felt so bad. I, I, okay, my concept of time is so off. We're, we're busy people. Things happen. And Life. then I'm like, I think it's literally been a day. And mm. then I'll go look at my Instagram messages. And, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. And then there's, like I've said before, I think I had things that were like 98 weeks ago. Oh and I was God. like, well, there's How? just, uh, you just don't. Hey, sorry, I was in the shower. Yep. Um, but yeah. <laughs> sorry, I overslept. <laughs> I was taking a nap. <laughs> 98 literally weeks. but hey it's hibernation <laughs> That's but right. uh thank you for listening you guys and until next time <laughs> happy new year and until next time yeah That's bye right. bays bye bays This has been a Rogue Media Network production.